Competing is everything for motorcycle racers, it's in their blood. But when a challenge was set to fit a superbike against a speedway bike over 200 metres, it was Dudeson Motorsports' Tom Tunstall who stepped up to the plate. Not really, that's like you've got your back pockets and your day come off. And we only get one tyre per me. Like a dinner plate, man. Tom, who currently rides his 1,000cc superbike in the British Championships, went along to Bellevue to weigh up the opposition. These are all my teammates here. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, if you, uh, you need to be speaking to them. No, not really. I don't really need to speak to any of them. I don't like them. Pretty spectacular, to be honest. Uh, just kind of... Uh, Obviously, getting my head around it, seeing what's happening, and uh, yeah, it's good, enjoying it. Still can't get the past the fact it's going to break, so that's the, that's the first thing that's stuck in my head. Very close racing, there's a lot of contacts, so I take me out the brave guy. Uh, it's a good spectacle, for sure. Uh, yeah, someone's got some tape right around the neck now, so yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Bellevue is the first time at a Speedway event and uh, certainly won't be the last. We found the perfect venue for Britain's Bomber Harris. An airfield in Yorkshire as Mann and his machine took on the might of a 1,000cc BMW superbike with gears and brakes on tarmac with slick tyres. See you again, Chris. You, this is my uh, Dudes and Motorsport BMW S 1000 RR Superbike that we use in the British Superbike Championship. 1000 cc, based on the BMW road bike, but with quite a few modifications. Um, we've got Olin's front forks, rear shock, um, Brembo front brakes and rear brakes. Um, we also use, instead of a foot brake, we use a, a thumb brake that's operated up here on the, uh, on the handlebars. Um, obviously, we've got gears, which is a bit different for yourself. Uh, six speed, um, also operated with a, a quick shifter, so on upshifts we don't have to use a clutch. Automatically cuts the electronics, just under 200 horsepower. It's got slicks fitted at the moment, which we usually run in the dry. Whether we use those today, I'm not sure, but uh, 320 mil uh, brake discs, magnesium forged wheels. Yeah, it's um, quite a pricey bit of kit, and uh, yeah, it goes pretty quick as well. He got a button press started. Chris was spinning quite a bit with obviously wet tarmac. Uh, he's not used to tarmac. Obviously, we've uh, two days ago we were racing on it, so yeah, it's uh, not sure if it's a level playing field yet, but um, yeah, it'll be interesting in another run. See how it goes. Yeah, it's not too bad. You know, I feel, I feel like trapped in, but it's probably when you got gears, disadvantage. Three quarters of the way down there, though, I started to get a bit of a speed wobble, so uh, that was a bit hairy. Got a game? Oh, yeah, we'll go again.
we uh, just nipped at the end. It was it was pretty close all the run down. Um, but you know the uh, dude some BMWs, thousand cc four cylinder bike, nearly 200 horsepower. I think uh, I think Chris certainly did Speedway proud to uh, give me a run for my money on a 500 single. He, uh, yeah, it was a close run thing, but a lot of fun and yeah, I, I can say that because I won. Bigger concern is uh, dropping the clutch and ended up on my backside, but we managed to keep the front end down and uh, we got in a bit of a towards the end at the end of the run. It got a bit of confidence, but um, it was different. I'm used to making a start and then turning a little bit, but. Uh, Going in a straight line for that long is different. I think I should definitely took the stick to the speedway though. Well done for your win today, mate. Rematch next year. Definitely.